Uh, I feel like they are they are rare, but they are out here. That's and you know, that's yeah. talking about Lori Harvey or something. Man. Right, Lori Harvey is a perfect example of that. Um, and again, I would, again, it's, con- it's context missing there as well. But yeah, yeah, yeah. based on how she moving, yeah, shit, I'm talking about these. Is she she dealing with dudes that women will cut a motherfucker throat just for a night with them? And she doing her thing, kicking it with them, using them for what I can use them for the publicity. We having sex, they buying me shit, and then when I get tired of this shit, I'm out. So and I, with no I remorse. Was, I was wondering the reason why I was like, is she is only because Michael B. Jordan. You know, he was the one that called it quits, and I wonder would she still be in that relationship? Would would she be looking to like this is the nigga I want to propose to me type shit, or do you think she would continue to bounce around? See, you you, you got to understand the reason the, the the reason he called it quits was because he wanted something serious, and she did. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Know you. What I'm saying? Oh, I got so it's you. like yeah, I'm yeah. I'm I'm enjoying this shit. I'm you know we we getting all this publicity. Yeah. I'm I'm getting famous. TMZ taking pictures of us, all type of shit. I'm I'm in the spotlight without even having to say a word. Yeah. But you trying to take this shit somewhere else? You trying to put a ring on my finger, domesticate me, make me low key? I ain't going for that. And but he was know. like, "What well, shit? If you don't want to do that, I'm out." It's, it's crazy. Got you, you know, right? got more dicks to jump on. Hey. Like yeah, but you got to get it from the mama. Yeah, get it from the mama. It's crazy to me, though, right? So, like, uh, with the example, Trill used, right? So, the chick that's cold always attracting dudes that's trying to be in a relationship. Right? No, homie, I got to keep you over here. That's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? Same with the dudes, right? The dudes that's trying to, you know, hit and quit. Always with the pick finding the girls that's always, you know, oh, I hope I can change and maybe we can be together. da 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 And what's the common denominator, right? Sex was led from the forefront, right? Ain't that the common denominator? I don't know, man. I I, I think I think the, the common denominator is this person is not what I'm on. And I feel like I'm dope enough to change their mind. That that shit happens on both sides of the of the fence. You got dudes out here that that that'll run into a chick like a Lori Harvey or like the girl that I'm talking about. And again, our ego gets involved. We not used to having sex with a woman and she don't just fall over, bend over backwards to whatever we want to do. So when we run into that type of shit and she just keeping it all the way G, it's like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Well, hold up. She's, what, damn, am, I, am I doing something wrong? Motherfucker, start, start questioning your own self. Damn, am I not stroking right? Am I not, like, am, am I falling off? But it's the, it's the same thing the, the, the other way around. Those women run into a dude who they really like. But again, they know that he for the streets. He moves like he from the streets. He inconsistent. He barely texting your ass back. So much so, you curving motherfuckers who are willing to be that that everyday man texting you every day. Good morning. How you doing? How's your day? Asking you out. You would curve him to deal with the motherfucker that's inconsistent. Why? Because of ego. That's the common denominator. I feel like I'm dope enough to get you on my page eventually. Even if right now you saying this and you moving that way. If you fuck with me long enough, you going you going to get on my program. And a lot of them find out the hard way that that shit is not true. That's pretty interesting <laughs> because most people like the easy road. Right? People like to get the easy money. But when you say it like that, the ego kicks in. Now you want the you want to take the long route. But when it comes to the progress of you being successful, you won't do the same process. I think that's pretty interesting yeah when it comes to these relationships you're right niggas want to take the instead of going straight down from here to there they just got to cross over mountains got to swim through rivers swim upstream you know what i'm saying hike through the desert don't do that well the reason why don't is because that. we hunters and conquerors so when we meet a female that we feel is like an obstacle but she's still within our reach we'll still you'll try but I'm saying, but they don't apply the same thought process. I agree with you on that. Behavior that. to get successful. Uh, That's right. what I'm saying. Like, if you're able to think that you have a big enough ego to change somebody's perspective on liking you and changing their whole status, if you will, that you, you're talking about changing a whole nother person when you are in control of yourself yeah. and won't move in the same dynamic. That is crazy to me, is what I'm saying. I'm trying to save her. Don't save her. Arrogance that go along with that, you know. Hey man, 
And <laughs> 40 said, make Have the same arrogance about kid. yourself, is what I'm saying. Right. Yeah, no, I got you. E40 once said, make that man take care of your kids. Make that fella call your kids his. What do you say? Make him take you out to church. Make him buy you doing and burp. It's all part of that sucker type charismatic. Crevice whip food come save me. Batches out there be on the lookout for Captain Save Him, though, because he's saving those. Is our, is our, ooh, dang, that's too old for y'all. Yeah, Captain really Save on, uh, Yeah, that ooh. was my head a little bit, really. Man, <laughs> y'all should really go look up Earl Stevens, E40, Captain Save a Ho. Yeah. I just think, man, I just think the man got to pay attention to the red flags. I mean, I, I'm not surprised when that happened. You know, Michael G. B. Jordan thought he was going change her and she already had that pattern put in place but jr what are the red flags especially in that situation when she's the daughter well, allegedly the daughter I mean, of Harvey. yeah but she's in the entertainment industry so her life is put out in the public well she's following the mother blueprint but the mother has snagged once so yeah you know? we, we ain't talking about that though we're just talking about when a man sees it yeah. right in his face i don't know what he saw that was different. I, that, that, oh, I agree with, yeah. Okay, I agree with that. So yeah. he should have just been woke enough and not in the sunken place, and not even if he was gonna smash, just smash. Okay, I mean, I get it. She she's beautiful, and most of these rappers lust um, over these women. But then, so if he was lusting, he should have just hit it and left. But Dang. he wanted to keep hitting it, and he wanted to, you know, wind it down and and show Dang. her life. And Dang. I don't know what I don't know what game she was playing, but she must have been playing a good one because she had his ass gone. Hey, she must have got that good fire cat. That round, round, round. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you got to. Had him locked in. Had them claws in his ass. <laughs> I'll tell you know what the wild part yeah. is, bro, is that it don't, it, it, it don't even be the ass, bro. It just be how, how easy that, that she can works. detach from your ass. Mm -hmm. And then when you're around her, it's, all, it's a great conversation. I know because women have told me the same thing in the past. Oh, it's, a, it's such an amazing time. It's great conversation. You're such a great listener. You this, you that, you this, you that. But it also adds to the fact that that person is able to compartmentalize and keep a certain distance between where you trying to get them to go and, and where they where they trying to go. Like it's, it's certain motherfuckers that just that are charismatic enough to make you feel like you the only person in, in a world or you the only person. You know what I'm saying this motherfucker connecting with me on like a very deep level, man. Like so. I, so I, I must be different. Than the other niggas that she was talking to. I know mm -hmm. that, you know, Future is the king of toxicity and he couldn't keep her. But I mean, I am the most desired man in, in, in the world. And, and we, you know, we look good in pictures together. We doing public moving and all type of shit. So I know eventually I'm going to be able to win her over and we're going to be able to get to her spot. That's a dangerous but woman, bro. When you think about it, bro, that woman dangerous, bro. So on, God, on God. I want to know. I want to know who. I want to know who the people are, the dudes are that's in his circle. Did nobody else catch that shit? It ain't no, it's not. It what? It's not that though. Yeah, like, yeah. see, this can't tell see, a grown man what to do. They're gonna still right. do it. But, but this that's what tr this what Trill saying though, right? At, at least that, right? Look how we look at it different. You see what I'm saying? We look at it different, but it's the same. It's the same when you on your cold shit, your ice cold shit, your cold hearted shit. It's the same. I was gonna say that shit too, yeah. It's the same, right? Now, I'm not saying that it's. We all know this is not. It's not the norm, right? But for us to say it's not women out there that don't exist like that, you fooling yeah. yourself. You got to be again. It's all about you being on your game and being able to recognize what you're dealing with. I got a question for you guys, and hopefully, I can ask it the correct way. So, because it happens on both sides, men and women, right? And just like Ricky said, we talking it about it, looking at it like damn, this women is dangerous, but. Is women looking at the men that's like this, saying these these, these niggas dangerous, and and some of the men are fully aware of where they can have a woman at. So, do you guys think that is intentional, or it's just in in their nature, it's just they they or it's just something about them, or do you think they just really planning this shit? Like, do you think Lori has a plan, or do you think she's just moving the way she moves, and it just she just naturally? I mean, you, this energy that you, just wraps guys. I, I think that's the whole thing is that you 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 got a plan above everything. You know what I'm saying? At the baseline bottom of it, you know you understand that you're gonna move with a certain intention in a certain way, no matter what. And you're gonna stand on it. You know what I'm saying? No matter if it's this guy or that guy or this chick or that chick, right? Until it, it hit a certain way, you 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 at where you at with it. 
Man, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, I think it's, I, I, and, and again, Ricky is right, but I think it's more just understanding the concept of how power, powerful scarcity is. I don't think people understand how powerful that is, right? If I'm being seen as elusive and I'm super attractive and I can have anybody I want, especially knowing how men operate, I, I think that 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 little bit alone is all she needs to know, is that me being elusive and me being, you know, super attractive and me moving in scarcity, men are going gonna to jump over my <laughs> mountaintops to try to come get me. And, 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 and that's what that is, because as men, we can say what we want in terms of, well, damn, I need to just go be with somebody that, that like me. True. But it's something about a motherfucker that's just super attractive that that is elusive. It just makes you tap into like your ego. It's like, wait a minute, damn. Especially like if you're used to getting women. It's like, wait a minute. I'm 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 used to being able to just puppet women however I want to on a stream. But then when I run into her, it's like we 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 vibing. It's an amazing time. We even having sex. We laid up, we kicking it, we chopping it up, and then I don't hear from her for five days. It's like, what the fuck is going like what is going on here? So now now you intrigued. Now you neglecting your other hoes because you focused on cracking this code. So in so as, as long as a woman is aware of that, she's gonna be dangerous. She don't even have to have a plan. But if she's just aware that moderation and scarcity is power in that, that's that's a dangerous motherfucker. Because if you think about it as men, that that's how we do. We know, we know just when we out here moving around with women and the, these, I ain't talking about the men that's lying and manipulate all that other shit. I'm talking about the men that's out here telling chicks right from the gate. Hey, look, I'm not interested in a relationship right now, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. We, we can kick it. We can go out to dinner. We can, we can vibe. We can do whatever. But I don't want nothing serious. And I'm going to let you know this from, from the gate. We know, when, we know when we say that how women's minds work. Their mind is going to say, okay, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but you ain't experienced me yet. Yeah. Right. So it's like so now I got you where, where, where I want you at, especially if you if you attract the woman, dudes throwing themselves at you, whatever. So now I'm different than all of them. Moderation, scarcity. Those men that's telling you good morning every day. You you already feel like you conquered them already. But when we kick it, I didn't I didn't fuck the shit out you like we didn't. I, I didn't let, let you lay your head on my chest. We watching Netflix da, 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 and you don't hear from me for four days. I know your ass is is intrigued you going crazy now oh. like what the fuck who is like the audacity this nigga let me text him now you blowing up double triple text and all type of shit that you don't normally do and even though this man told you from the gate i don't want nothing serious baby if you want to kick it we can have fun that's it that's all but we know that again people want what they can't have and if you are aware of that and if you are able to stay disciplined in how you move whether or not you a man or a woman you a dangerous motherfucker man and Lori, Har Lori, Lori Harvey, all she did was learn that concept at a super young age. And she out here moving. And another thing, the most dangerous part about Lori Harvey is she don't say a fucking word. She discreet. Yeah. That's true. She don't say shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's crazy. Hey, like the next day, uh, he was looking sad as hell. Yeah. <laughs> He he was looking sad in the motherfucker. She didn't even acknowledge him. She didn't reference the relationship, didn't do nothing. She was at the club doing her thing, didn't didn't post no stories, didn't post no pictures, didn't post no nothing. You don't know what the fuck is going through her head. And that's that's what makes her dangerous, bro. Fucking savage, nigga. <laughs> I wonder who's next up. Uh, Trill was really speaking economics. You know what I'm saying? Supply and demand, bro. That's economics one on one. Supply and demand. I mean, all these companies know that, right? She just so happens to understand the game of, as you say, uh, I know that I'm highly valued and I know a lot of dudes want me. Why would I shut it down for you? Why would I sell myself to you? You know what I'm saying? So, and also at the same time, I don't know about a lot about her, but just thinking about it from an economic standpoint, I mean, she's always going to be, be she's going to be beautiful for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And so How old is she? I don't know. She she ain't she ain't even 25, I I, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? Like so she's gonna be young. beautiful for a long time. So as the question was, does she have a plan? Like I don't know, but does she really have to have one considering what we talked about before? Like, even though dudes are gonna know her story as it relates to that she's been with a lot of dudes, and as then that we don't know if they've had sex or not, but we could just even if he, if she did, 
Okay, even if she did, because of who she is and what she looks like, dudes, a dude is still going to be willing to wife her. You know what I'm saying? So she doesn't necessarily have to have a plan. Uh, from from my perspective, and also it all kind of depends as well as like it, it, is she still feminine? You know what I'm saying? Because there are some women out here that are still beautiful, but they still single. It's as it relates to uh, being famous. Uh, I think uh, the one lady was Roxy from 106 in Park. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Machine Lloyd Harvey fine. Let's let's cut that out right now. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, but I'm just saying she has a she doesn't have to have a plan. But no, I'm saying she you. is a beautiful lady. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but she's still single, so it also depends on somewhat of her personality as well. Later on, yeah. Uh, say real. I was about to say something. Real. My bad. Real. Go ahead. No, I mean all of these examples are just are just making me think about being young and having options, right? Trio's example, humble dad's example, right? You think about the college football player, right? He most of them star athletes. Let's just put it that way. They typically have somebody. They typically have many, but they typically have somebody. There's a connection there. Sex is great. She's probably smart, helps him study. It's his therapist when he needs one, all of that. However, he'll still exercise his options and not commit because he knows that he has high value and status in their world. Right. And oftentimes these brothers may think back later, like, damn, such and such was the one I let get away. But I wasn't ready. You know what I mean? Because I knew <laughs> I knew who I was then. And sometimes that can be a detriment. She knows who she is. She knows that she's young and she knows she has options and she knows how to exercise those options. You know what I mean? And it, it's almost like every dating experience makes her even more relevant. Right. And, and so she does it. Even if she misses him, she knows this, this doesn't hurt her in the grand scheme of things in the life that she's living right now. So, I mean, it's just not so hard for me to to me to for me to fathom. And then even when we take it to the whole ego thing with somebody like Irv Gotti, man, it was never like he was, oh, I got caught. He has ego and he feels entitled. If he really got caught and there were serious repercussions, he would be hesitant to speak on a situation again when you got to go back home to your wife. <laughs> you know what I mean? His thing was more or less the audacity of her to sleep with somebody else like me, <laughs> you know, yes, what I'm <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we have to understand who these people are and, and, and where they are up here. You know what I mean? Then it's just not so hard to understand. I tell y'all what, man, like if y'all don't take nothing else away from this conversation, man, I, I, I really want y'all to understand like what makes those type of people attractive. It's the carefree, the carefreeness in which they move. It's an aura. Because somebody that has options and they know they got options, they they move that way. They move lighter. They don't they don't think as much. I'm not getting nervous when I'm around you. I'm not getting nervous on this conversation because I know that like that this shit could like make or break me. You know what I'm saying? So it's no tension. It's no nothing. It's just lighthearted. It's just and, and again that's why you have dudes that are, you know, <laughs> man. We 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 used to be in. We have a, a room full of women around us, and nobody try to shoot at nobody directly. We just in that business having a good time, bobbing. Chopping it up. We ain't trying to force drinks down nobody's throat. Chill. None of that. We just vibing. It's just a cool. And then at the end of the night, they're going to choose up their damn self. You ain't got to. But again, it's it's about aura. It's about how you move. Move move like this. you done been there before. Stop thinking so much. Get get outside of your head. You be moving like everybody in the room is looking at you and the, the, analyzing your every move and shit. Now you, you know, looking nervous. And women can sense nervousness. Women can sense uncertainty in, in a man. And, and that shit right there is gonna drop you on that drop you on that totem pole. It could be a dude who looked worse than you, but he and that bitch laughing, having a good time, just vibing, aura, kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And he going the women gonna gravitate to him more so than you. You talking about like Flavor Flav? Is that what you're saying? I would, <laughs> look again, in Flavor Flav confidence is through the fucking roof. That's yeah, let's not, let's not get carried away though. Okay, let's you not get carried away. Confidence. <laughs> I was I was talking about confidence, yeah. bro. 